Hello friends, it's Dwight from St. James. Just taking a break from Vacation Bible School. Wanted to uh, talk with you a little bit about uh, uh, God's answers to our prayers. And really I can uh, only speak for myself, uh, but I did in my life work out um, how I operate and how I understand uh, how God uh, deals with me and uh, my prayer requests. And I'd have to go back uh, many years ago. Uh, I was working in a, another church, and um, I was a worship leader there, and um, they uh, made resources available um, that, uh, you know, were very helpful. And uh, included in this magazine, The Church Musician, uh, was a poem. And this poem radically changed my life and my outlook as far as how I uh, view God and how he answers my prayers. And it, the poem is by Nancy Spiegelberg. And here's uh, how it goes. They're almost unbelievable. Some prayer answers you sent so fast, they took my breath away and made me laugh. I thank you. I thank you there were other times it seemed you'd left me way out in the dark alone to wait until you became more important than any answer I was looking for. Now this poem, you know, helped me look from maybe a um, God's eye view uh, upon my situation. God is more interested in having relationship with me than he is supplying all those uh, prayer requests. And you, you see, uh, God is not some cosmic vending machine where we pull the knob and uh, we get what we want when we want it. That's, that's not the way God wants it. Uh, we may start out uh, with a very simplistic view and really, even as I uh, have matured and gotten older, simple is better. Uh, the thing I, I want to understand is that God knows my needs better than I know myself. And so he is active and involved in my life and in meeting those needs. And I don't have to beg and plead uh, for them. And, but the thing is, is we try uh, to uh, lift scriptures maybe out of context, or we pair them together to come up with a formula that uh, makes sense to us that if we do this, this, and this, then God will answer what I'm asking for. And I don't think it really works that way. But I have come uh, to a conclusion that there is a very simple um, way to look at this. I, I think God answers prayers in one of three ways. And uh, like uh, Nancy said, uh, sometimes the answers come so fast, they take our breath away. And so the answer could be one, yes. Uh, I, you know, am all in, uh, involved in uh, satisfying that need and having it come right away. The second one is not yet. And this is the one I think that most of us have problem with, is the waiting. Uh, we talked about waiting last week. But uh, it's hard when we're feeling like we're uh, in need and have to, you know, wait for the answer to be on its way. But we don't know what all God is doing in, in the process of uh, waiting and uh, having to exercise patience, uh, which is also a gift of God. Uh, so we need to be well um, accustomed to patience as well as having things come our way quickly. And number three is I have something different in mind. This is from God's perspective. And now you'll notice in yes, not yet, and I have something different in mind, there's not a no answer. God always answers us, but he answers in a way that uh, fits into his plan and our good. And um, when God says I have something different in mind, he really means that I have a better solution than what you're asking for. So God wants to give us better than what we ask for. In fact, I am very grateful that God has 
not answered uh, the request that I have made specifically because that would have taken me down a road that was not as good as the one God had planned for me. So uh, when you consider uh, you're going through some tough times and you're lifting it up to God, know that God is more in, interested in relationship than he is with just solving you know, our uh, current needs and taking away the pressure. Uh, I have to say that uh, my life verse that I have um, focused on for uh, many years now is Philippians 3.10. And uh, in this verse it says, I want to know Christ and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of sharing in his sufferings, becoming like him in his death. Now, this is an experiential knowing. I don't want to know about Christ. I want to know Christ. And um, so that I am constantly growing in, in a way that uh, makes me look like Jesus on the cross, uh, self-sacrificing, wanting other people to have a relationship with God and doing whatever it takes for that to happen. And so um, remember this, um, this short poem. I'm going to read it again just so that you get it. They're almost unbelievable. Some prayer answers you sent so fast, they took my breath away and made me laugh. I thank you. I thank you there were other times. It seemed you'd left me way out in the dark alone to wait until you became more important than any answer I was looking for. Thank you, Nancy Spiegelberg, for changing my life and my perspective on how God answers prayer. I want you to become more important than any answer I'm looking for. Try it out, friends. See if that won't hold true in your life as well. Well, got to get back to Vacation Bible School. That's all I have for you today. See you later next time.